Salamat Panginoon dahil may buhay na walang hanggan at may daan tungo sa buhay na walang hanggan. Patuloy niyo kung papagliwanagin ang aming isip, ipaliwanag, ituro sa amin ang pamamaraan ni Jesus. Turuan mo kami, Panginoon, na papaglinawin ang aming pag-iisip, mapili, masala ang mga galing sa katuroan mismo ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Maunawa namin ito, maipamuhay, at pakinabangan. Salamat. Kayo po ang mangusap. Ama, kayo po ang maging tunay na tagapagsalita sa ngala ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Luke 10:25 to 37. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, "What must I do to inherit eternal life?" It's a tough issue, at ito tule natin maya maya ang sagot ni Jesus. Elsewhere, Jesus taught in John 3:16. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Nandito na sa John 3.16 yung buong-buong katuroan kung paano magkakaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. Kaya dapat huwag nang dagdagan, bawasan, at paguluhin. And the most important words in this verse are love, gave, Believe, not perish, eternal life. Said another way, God sent Jesus the Word, and the Word is the idea. So God sent the idea, and the idea is the teaching of Jesus, and the teaching of Jesus is none other than love as the way to eternal life. So God sent Jesus as the way to eternal life. God sent. Love as the way to eternal life. John 1.12 To all who did receive Him, meaning Jesus, and receiving His love, to those who believed in His name, meaning in His teaching, He gave the right to become children of God and therefore to have eternal life. The Word, the idea of Jesusness, passing through the door and portal of of love. Siyempre, yung korting pusong love, ano lang yung simbol, kasi yan ang nakasanayan natin. But, the word, the idea, the Son of God that became flesh, passed through the door of love into the world. Kaya makikita natin na si Jesus ay isinilang, He went into the world, and the reason is And the method is also love, the door of love. The Son of God becomes Jesus the man and makes His dwelling among us. Then Jesus the Word comes from heaven to the world through the door, the stargate of love. kung bibigyan natin ng illustration, yung kalayo-layo ang eternal spaces and time went into earth as flesh through the door, the portal, the idea of love. God sent Jesus to the world to be humanity's door to eternal life. So Jesus becomes the door. God sent Jesus to The teaching of Jesus and love as portal to eternity. Makararating ka doon sa kaluwalhatian, sa walang hanggan, sa pamamagitan ni Jesus. Si Jesus ang daan. At si Jesus ay personification of love. Therefore, the door, the portal, the stargate is love. Jesus takes love believers with Him To eternal life. Many people did not know the way. Many people did not know love as the way to eternal life. God sent Jesus to teach that way. So enter heaven through the Jesus way, through the way 
of Jesus through love. There is something about love that is so mysterious and powerful and love is energy. Love is vibration. And when you vibrate in love, you vibrate with the universe. You vibrate into eternity. Dapat maintindihan yun from that point of view. Hindi lang yung love na romantic love. Hindi lang yung love na pang mag-asawa, mga magkasintahan. Yung pagmamahal. Tunay na pagmamahal vibrates. And you vibrate with the universe, with God. Because God is love. And when you vibrate with the vibration of God, of course, you have eternal life. Luke 10, 25-37, yung nakaraan nating binabasa kanina, What must I do to inherit eternal life? Pinakamahalagang tanong ng nabubuhay pa lang dito sa katawang lupa. Sumagot sa Jesus, What is written in the law? He replied, How do you read it? He answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. A direct quote from Leviticus 19.18. So, sabi ni Jesus, eh ano ba ang nakasulat kung paano ka magkakaroon ng eternal life? Alam naman nung nagtanong, sabi niya, love God and love your neighbor. Yun po para magkaroon ng eternal life. This is the universal law. It means, love God and your neighbor as yourself. This is not the local Jewish, legal, and ritual law. Nung sinabi ni Jesus, ano ba sinasabi ng law? Anong nakasulat? Ang pinag-uusapan doon, yung way to eternal life. And that law is the universal law of love, not the legal, ritualistic, busisi laws of Israel for their daily religious and social life. Hindi yun ang way to eternal life. The universal law of creation, which is love. At sabi ni Jesus, you have answered correctly. Jesus replied, do this, love, and you will live. Love, and you will be saved from death. Sabi mismo ni Jesus. Love, and you have eternal life. Sabi naman ni Peter, Acts 16.31, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Which means believe in love. Because love is the message of Jesus and you will be saved from damnation and of course you will have eternal life. Matthew 22.37-40, Jesus replied, Love God and your neighbor. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Ang dami kasing commandments, nakakalito na, hindi ba naman masunod-sunod lahat? Lalo yung mga detalye niyan. Sabi ni Jesus, huwag kayo malito. Love God. Love others. Iyan ang kahulugan ng law. Tapos yung iba, just to fulfill the law, just to follow and implement the law, they become unloving, they become cruel. They go to religious wars, they stone to death. Mga people who don't obey their religious laws, hindi na naging loving ang paggamit sa law nagamit pa to unlove, to hate. Loving, according to Jesus, is fulfilling all the universal law. Not the detailed religious laws of ancient Israel, the law of love. Loving means righteousness. Loving is counted as righteousness. Those who love are counted by God as righteous. Hindi yung nakakasunod sa mga buting-ting na mga batas ng ancient Israel ang nagmamahal ay sumusunod sa Diyos at ibinibilang itinuturing na righteous. Therefore, loving equals eternal life. Eh, gusto magpalusot pa nitong nagpanong kasi obviously hindi siya loving eh. Sabi ni Jesus, paano ba nagkakaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan? Yan ang tanong niya kay Jesus. Ang inaasahan niya siguro sa God, well, obey all the laws of Israel, do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that, and you will be having eternal life. Kaya sabi ni Jesus, love. Verse 29, But he wanted to justify himself for being, for not being all loving, we suppose. So he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Kasi sabi ni Jesus, love your neighbor and you will have eternal life. Eh, sino naman po ang neighbor ko? Of course, 
Ang tanong niya, sino ang qualified na mahalin ko para magkaroon siya ng excuse para maraming hindi mahalin? In reply, Jesus said, and Jesus replied with a story, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. May priest, ha, religious leader. Nung makita niyang madadaan na niya yung nakahandusay na biktima, tumawi siya sa kabila at siya dumaan para huwag niyang kailanganing harapin at tulungan. So to a Levite, a very highly regarded religious persona, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. Niligtang-ligtangan at iniwas, iwasan nila talaga itong nakahandusay na half-dead. But, a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. Naawa yung Samaritan, mga outcast sila, kinoconsider na marurumi. Siya yung naawa. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Precious commodities, oil and wine, pinakamahal yan. Yun ang kanyang ibinuho sa sugat. Kasi disinfectant yan eh. At nakakasood is a bomb. The Samaritan, a non-neighbor, loved. The religious leaders did not. The love of the Samaritan was practical. It was clinical love. It was not sectarian religion. Not doctrine. Hindi ko ano-anong mga love the interpretation ng mga religions. Plain, streetwise kind of love. The next day, he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look up. After him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. So, dinalapan niya sa isang tuluyan, sa isang inn, sa isang mini hotel, kinuha niya ng kwarto, pinalinis niya, inasikaso, at ibinilin pa niya doon sa innkeeper. Alagaan mo siya, ha? Pakainin mo, at babalikan ko. Kung pagbalik ko, kulang pa itong mga iniwan ko sa iyong pondo, re-refund pa kita. Alagaan mo. Nagtanong kayo sa Jesus, Which of these three do you think was a neighbor? The priest? The Levite? Or this outsider, downtrodden, maliit ang tingin na Samaritan? In other words, who loved his neighbor? And the question really is not who loved his neighbor, but who has eternal life then? Because diba sabi ni Jesus, those who love will have eternal life? So sino sa tatlong yan ang may eternal life? Yung dalawang religious leaders? O itong hindi man lang religious leader, hindi man lang religious, considered pa as an outsider? Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him? Jesus says, loving, helping others is the way to eternal life. Hindi ito emotion, 
kundi action. Pansinin natin, mga kapatid, walang binanggit si Jesus na religion, na religious act. Hindi niya sinabi, ang nagpabinyag sa tamang paraan ang magkakaroon ng eternal life. Ang sumali sa ganitong sekta ang magkakaroon ng eternal life. Ang nagsusot ng ganitong kahabang palda ang magkakaroon ng eternal life. Ang ganito ang haircut ang magkakaroon ng eternal life. Sabi, yung tumulong. Siya ang may eternal life. Para kay Jesus, that is high religion. Act of love. Minus the sectarian label. James 1.27 echoes the same powerful truth. Sabi niya, religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this. To look after orphans and widows in their distress. Hindi sabi mag-ayuno ka hanggang maging kalansay, no? Hindi sinabi huwag ka kakain ng ganito, itong kakaidin mo. Kailangan huwag kang ganito't ganun. Dapat meron kang ganito observation ng sabat at bla bla bla. Walang ganun sinabi si James. Na-echo lang ng sinabi ni Jesus. Sabi niya, alam niyo kung anong high religion? Nakatanggap-tanggap at kapuri-puri sa Panginoong Ama sa Langit, dalisay, at walang bahid to help the weak and the needy. To love. Hindi man-made doctrines na kung ano-ano. Hindi religious memberships. Walang brand and spirit, spiritual movement and community na sinimulan ni Jesus. Later lang dumating yung mga brands at nagyara-gyara. The brands, sects, congregations incorporated and appeared much later. And of course, once they appeared, Guerra Mundial, mostly claiming to be the one true church and demonizing all other competitors. Kaya nagkagulo. To love is not religious debates and quarrels or wars. It's not rituals or activities. It's not even sacrifices. In fact, God is not delighted with sacrifices. Ano ang tunay daw na paraan para makarating sa buhay na walang hanggan? Ano ang tunay na daan ni Jesus? Itinuro ng Ama sa pamamagitan ni Jesus kasi yung mga tao, kahit religious sila, hindi nila alam o nalimutan. Kaya kailangan pang ipadala si Jesus. Sa Matthew 25, 34-40, sa pagtutuloy ng mga binabasa natin kanina, Nung sinabi ni Jesus na eto ang mga maliligtas para silang mga tupa na may mga kambing dyan, yung mga tupa dito, ligtas, yung mga kambing dyan, hindi. Of course, that's only an illustration. Hindi naman yung mga kambing at tupa ang tunay na issue dyan. Then the king will say to those on his right, hinati daw kasi ng king yung mga tao. Isang grupo sa left, isang grupo sa right. Of course, it's an oversimplification. An example. Come, You who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom, meaning eternal life, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. Long before corporate religions, ibig sabihin, meron ang nakahandang paraan ng pagpunta sa kingdom kasi prepared before the foundations of the world. Religions came much, much later, claiming to be the way to God. E pa, paano nung wala pa sila? Walang way? At sabi ni Jesus, hali kayo. Tanggapin ninyo ang inyong gantimpala, buhay na walang hanggan. Bakit po? Ano po nagawa namin? Hindi naman kami sumali sa mga sekta. Hindi naman kami sumali sa ganitong religion. Hindi kami nagritual. Ano po? For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. Outsider ako, puwera, pero sinali nyo. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick. And you looked after me. Tulad nung Samaritan. I was in prison. And you came to visit me. Ibig sabihin ni Jesus, Take your inheritance, eternal life, because you love me by loving others. Kaya sabi ni Paul sa 1 Corinthians 13, Ano mang doktrina ay pagpatong-patongin ninyo, The greatest is love. The way, 
the method, the truth, the teaching. The love of Jesus is the way to eternal life. Huwag malito. 1 John 4, 7-8 Let us love one another. For love comes from God. And if it comes from God, it is what will go back to God. Love comes from God, therefore love will go back to God. So makay ka sa tide of love to go back to love and to God. Everyone who loves has been born of God or born again. Everyone who loves has been born of love, of God. Paano po yan? Hindi naman ako matendo sa rally sa luneta para itaas ang kamay ko, para tumanggap. Nagmamahal ka ba? Umiibig ka ba? Tumutulong ka ba? Opo. E ano sabi ni Jesus? Ano sabi ng 1 John 4, 7-8? If you love, you have been born of God. Hindi po kailangan sumali. Alam niyo yung mga nagpapataas, maganda naman. Kung ipapaliwanag ko ano yung ginagawa, pwede yung nagtaas ka lang, akala mo anak na ng Diyos. Yumuku ka lang at umusal ng mga dasal-dasal, repeat after me, akala mo anak na ng Diyos. Maganda kung naiintindihan ang ibig sabihin ng dasal. Pero kung akala mo dahil lang nagdasal ka o nagtaas ka ng kamay o dumalo ka ay naging anak na ng Diyos, abay mag-isip-isip ka. Ang mga religions kasi, gusto nila yung nagtataas ka ng kamay, uusal ka ng dasal, mag-fill up ka ng form para maging member ka nila. Ganun lang yun. Para may ownership of you. Siyempre, ituturo mo na magiging anak ka ng Diyos sa pag-ibig lamang na hindi ka naman sumali sa amin, hindi ko umatend, eh di hindi ka magiging amin. Wala kaming claim sa yung tithes and offering. Kaya kailangan may procedure, may paraan na alam na alam mo sa amin ka na born again, sa amin ka naligtas para dito ka tumaro ng utang na loob at dito ka magdala ng offering. Yun lang yun. Pero ang totoong turo ni Jesus, ni James, ni Peter, pag nagmamahal ka, napatunay yun na anak ka nga ng Diyos. Kahit hindi ka member ng anumang sekta, Whoever does not love does not know God and therefore does not have eternal life because God is love. E kung mapapasali ka pa sa mga reliyon, hindi loving, self-righteous, judgmental, mahilig magpwera, mahilig magpahiya ang mga makasalanan, nasan yung love? Do not unlove, do not hate, Do not hurt one another in the name of God. Kasi religious wa ang mangyayari dyan. Do not be cruel to others for the sake of religion. For the sake of doctrine. Siyempre, kailangan umaaling ako yung doctrine. Doctrine! Dapat ganun, no? Pero ang point, anong doctrine ang babangga sa love? It is love that is a sign that you are a child of God. It is a love that comes from God and it is a love that brings you back to God. So, huwag maging overly loyal to any doctrine that is unloving in application. Yung puro religious purity, tanggalin natin yung mga makasalanan, batuhin natin sila, ipwera natin sila. Turo ba yun ni Jesus? Yun ang babatuhin babae. Nahuli na sa akto. May verse pa silang pang justify ng batuhan. Hindi may pinabato ni Jesus eh. Labing bang mambato? Proverbs 12.28 In the way of righteousness, and by now we know that righteousness means loving, there is life. Along that path is immortality. You want immortality? Go the way of righteousness. Be loving. Because that is counted as the Righteousness. Kaya sa Luke 10.25, What must I do to inherit eternal life? He answered, Love the Lord your God and love your neighbor as yourself. Do this and you will live. You will have eternal life. Kaya mga kapatid, siyempre, love the lamb. Sabihin nyo nga, love the lamb with feelings. One, two, three. Feelings na ba yun? Once more. Ayan, love na lang. Sino naman ang tinitingnan nyo habang sinasabi nyo yan? Baka sa pitaka nakatingin. Do a good Samaritan. 
Yan ang walang mali na doktrina. Nagsasabo na ito ng mga tao kung anong tamang doktrina ng baptism, kung anong dapat tinapayang kainin sa Eucharist, kung anong kakantahin, mabakal ba o mabilis. Hindi nyo na yan malulutas. Kaya, ano ang sagot? Wow! Pass the test, oh. Taas ang komprehensyon ng kongregasyong ito. Love na lang. Kasi wala doon mistake. Help a victim of unlove. Any unlove. O marami dyan, mga wives sa kulang sa pag-ibig ng asawa, mahalin nyo as kapatid. Huwag naman bilang kapalit ng kanyang asawa. Di ba? Mahalin nyo as anak, as nanay. Cure a wounded, bleeding, hurting someone. Do that, and you have eternal life. Siyempre, magagalit sa akin lahat ng mga sekta na nagtuturo ng iba. Dahil, eh, turo naman niya na Yesus. Awayin nila si Yesus. Ako naman dito, isa lang hamak na taga-repeat na sinasabi ni Yesus. Clothe a naked, cold someone. Alam niyo, maraming nakedness. Yung tinatanggalan mo ng dangalin, ihiya mo. Nakedness yun. So, bigyan mo siya ng dangal, ng pahalaga. Binibihisan mo. Huwag maghubad. Huwag magpahiya ng kapwa. Baligtad eh. Feed a hungry, thirsty someone. Maybe it's hunger for food. Maybe it's hunger for attention. Maybe it's hunger for understanding. For forgiveness. For care. Maring namamalimus lang siya ng konting oras kasi kailangan niya ng kausap. Feed a hungry, thirsty someone. And of course, the most basic level is literal food and literal drink. Hindi lang tayo dapat may involved sa self-serving, inward church activities. Yung umatayin ka talaga, nagwa-worship ko mga tatlong oras, pagod na pagod ka, high na high ka, tapos uwi na. Wala ka man lang pinakain kahit na peanut butter sandwich sa daan, tapos high na high ka dyan. Ano, yan na yun. Pinasaya mo lang sarili mo. Marami magwa-worship, emotional tripping. Talaga dapat pigmak ng luha, gumugulong sa sahig, ganyan. Ah, bless the bless ako. Tapos ang dami dinadaan ng pulubi, wala mo lang iabot kahit white rabbit. Anong worship yun? Kasi nalibang na tayo na akala natin yun na. ginagawa lahat nasa bubong dingding ng simbahan. Siyempre, para control ka ng church. Dapat lahat nasa loob. Pero, nasa labas ang tunay na service. Anong saysay ng asin? Nasama-sama lang yung asin sa loob ng lahat yan. Kailan lumalabas ka para bigyan ng lasa, pigilin ng pagkabulok ng maraming bagay. Help others to survive. Makatawid. Maraming tao, kailangan mo lang makatawid eh. Hindi mo silang kailangan pakainin ng isang taon. Yung patawidin mo lang sa gutom mo ngayon, pakainin mo lang, mamaya makakagawa na yan ng paraan. Kailangan lang makatawid. Yung lungkot na lungkot lang, kailangan lang niya makatawid. Konting kausap. Alam nyo, one of the saddest funeral services I ever do, eh kung nagpakamatay yung yumao. Sad. Wala ka ma-invent yung comforting words para sa mga namatayan. At marami mga nagsisisi, ako magpapakamatay na pala siya, kung alam ko lang, kinausap ko sana, busy kasi ako kanina. Eh, hindi naman talaga natin, alam ko sino nagbabalak, tumalon. Pag nalang tumalon at saka mo malalaman, pero ba't maaabangan pa yung dumating yun? Help others to survive, makatawid, kahit oras lang, kahit sandali. Bigyan ng panahon, bigyan ng pansin. Kasi yun ang mga ating mga moments of extreme sadness to the point that we become temporarily insane, Saglit lang yun eh. 
mapakain mo lang, mapansin mo, makakatawid na. Help others to live full lives. Kung may kakayanan ka na magbigay sa mga tao ng pansin mo lang negosyo, kahit maliit, para sila umunlad, hindi yung laging aasa sa'yo. May kakayanan ka na magbigay ng chances, opportunities, magpaaral, kung di mo man pag-arali ng isang buong kurso, ay eh kahit isang semestre, mabigyan mo ng tulong. Pangtawid! Yung susunod! Saka na yun! Yun ang love. Yun ang gusto ni Jesus. At yun ang giyawa niya. Sa buong ministry niya, ang dami niya itinatawid. May karamdaman, papagalingin. May, sabi nga nila, may isang babae that had seven demons sa pinalayas ni Jesus. Well, it could be literal demons, but I like to believe those are seven psychiatric demons. Siguro, depressed, sad, hopeless, nakakaroon mga panic attacks, nakakaroon anxiety, kung ano-ano. Pero dahil sa pagtanggap ni Jesus, sa pag-ibig niya, naitawid at sinabi, napalayas ang pitong demonyo. Hindi naman kailangan yung mga demonyo ngayon, may pakpak na itim at may hawak na malaking tinidor. Kasi maraming inner demons na gumugulo sa atin. Ang kailangan ng tao, pagmamahal, pag-ibig, pagtanggap, hindi sermon, hindi paghusga. Ang kailangan niya yung ginagawa ni Jesus, pag-ibig. Yan ang pandemic. Ang tunay na pandemic is lovelessness. At napakarami, zombie, buhay ang katawan, pero patay ang espiritu because of lack of love, lack of happiness, lack of joy, lack of peace. Kaya sabi ni Lord, I'll give you rest, I'll give you peace. Yan ang mga pangako niya. Hindi condemnation, hindi kung ano-ano mga sacrifices ang inihingi niya. Magpahinga kayo. Sabi niya, I came to give you rest. Jesus, the Word, the idea of love, came from eternity, from God. Came to this world for His mission of love. And after completing His tour of duty, Return to eternity, to the Father. Do the same. You and your spirit came from God, from eternity. You were sent to this world for a picnic, an excursion to the earthly garden. You were sent to this world for a mission of love and also personal recreation. Do that. So John 14, 1-27, My father's house, sabi ni Jesus, has many rooms. I am going there to prepare a place for you. I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. In other words, no one comes to the Father except through me, the door, except through the door of love. Whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing. So works na naman, works of love. Kapalit manig mo sa Jesus. Walang nakakalito. At sabi niya, if you love me, keep my commands. And that is the command, love. Sabi niya, I'll give you one command love. And I will ask the Father, and He will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. So, ang mga tao, parang nalulungkot, dahil sabi niya, Jesus, ako, pupunta na sa Father. Sabi niya, pero kayo malungkot. I will ask the Father to send you the Holy Spirit. At katumbas na rin nun yung nandyan ako. Before long, the world will not see me anymore. But you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. Pero meron yung parenthetic expression, ha? Because I love, so you also should love. Therefore, because I live, you will also live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. When? What day? When Jesus sends the Spirit of Truth, the Advocate. Whoever has my commands and keeps them, and what's the command? Love is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them 
and show myself to them. And Jesus replied, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them. Yung mga iba, walang kinuha ko di abangan ang langit. Ang sa, na pumunta sila doon sa langit. Of course, marami kasing simbolism yung travel to eternity. Pero sabi rin ni Jesus, I and the Father will be with you. Huwag kayong mag-worry, kami ang pupunta sa inyo. Kaya sabi niya, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. Will not love. Anyone who insists on the unloving law, on the unloving justice, sabi niya, they don't really believe in me. Kaya nakakalungkot eh, ang dami na tumatawag sa sarili nila Christian, pero actually, hindi si Christ ang sinusunod. Pharisees. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Anong ipapaalala? Yung sabi ni Jesus, hindi yung sabi ng iba. Kaya ang dapat alalahanin, gunitain, balik-balikan, yung sabi ni Jesus. At sa Acts 2, verses 1 and so on, When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. Natupad na sa Acts chapter 2 ang sinabi ni Jesus, I will send you the Comforter. I will send you the Advocate. I will send you the one who will remind you of everything. Amazed and perplexed, the people ask one another, What does this mean? Bakit sila nag speak in the tongues of the world and the languages of other cultures? Then Peter stood up, raised his voice, and addressed the crowd. This is what was spoken of by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Pag may nagtatanong, Pastor, last days na po ba ngayon? Iha, basahin mo yung Acts chapter 2. Doon pa lang last days na. Nagyari na yung dapat nangyari. Ano yun? Not the end of the world, but the end of the temple world. The end of the world of the law. Dahil dumating na ang world of love. World of grace. Ushered in by the presence of the Holy Spirit most dramatically exhibited at Pentecost. Naganap na noon pa man sa Pentecost. Paano magkaroon ng eternal life? How to go back to heaven? Bakit back? Because our spirit came from God. When we die, the body returns to the ground and the spirit returns to God who gave it. How do you go back to God? Do your tour of duty. Live on this planet. Live your life. Live your earthly life to the fullest. That's what God wants. Sabi ni Jesus, I came that you might have life and have it to the full. Tapos ang gagawin ng maraming religious group, pangangayatin ka sa walang katapusang fasting. Ipagbabawal lahat ang ligaya at sarap. Meron pang nagpapahirap sa sarili. At sasabihin, sa langit ka na bumawi. No! Ang sabi ni Jesus, I came dito na, now na, that you might have life and have it to the full. Spend your joys, your happiness, your pleasures, and very especially, your acts of love. Sabay-sabay lahat yan. Love others, sabi ni Jesus, as you love yourself. Therefore, you should also love yourself. So do this. Love and recreate. Recreate creation. Plant trees. Clean the environment. Do your artistic and creative endeavors because God creates, we recreate. Ang kinrate lang ng Diyos, do re mi paso lati, di ba? Pero you recreate. You make all the compositions, all the music out of those notes because God gave you the power to recreate. Not to create. Siya lang ang nakikreate. But we recreate. We encourage people to blossom in their fields, in their talents, in their arts because that is worship. When you develop your talent, you are worshiping the one who gave you the talent. 
Hindi lang confined sa religious activity ang worship. Pina-franchise kasi. Do all that, then return to God, to eternity, through the same way you came, through the same way Jesus came, through the way of love. Ecclesiastes 12, 7, the dust returns to the ground it came from, and the Spirit returns to God who gave it. Alam nyo itong